Now, I have tried to record this video multiple times, and honestly, I don't know how to start it, but I think that a lot of opinions about Liberty Falls is absolutely insane. The zombies community has taken such a sharp turn on Black Ops 6 that it has me kind of blown away to the point that I'm even getting comments on my most recent Liberty Falls video saying that my video aged like spoiled milk. I think a lot of people are kind of overlooking Liberty Falls and in a way the best way to put it I guess is they I think expect it too much. Now obviously this isn't everyone because I personally love Liberty Falls. I love the way Liberty Falls looks and I think I am extremely excited for it even more than Terminus Island just because Terminus Island looks more I don't know darker to me. I'm more of a fan of brighter maps. Liberty Falls looks fast paced small and just something I can hop onto and turn off my brain. I think another big reason as to people maybe being super disappointed with Black Ops 6 Zombies gameplay right now is because I think a lot of people expected Black Ops 6 Zombies to be a brand new different experience and that's another thing that I think a lot of people just overestimated their expectations because I don't know where people thought that this is going to be like going back to the Black Ops 3 roots of, I guess, being extremely different and unique. But there are some insane posts, for example, on Reddit that now Twitter is absolutely making fun of because there was a post saying that this doesn't even look like zombies right now. What are you on about? What? That really has me confused and disappointed in the zombies community because this honestly feels like the Cold War days. When Black Ops Cold War came out, the zombies community separated, split up, I guess. Oh my god, that sounds awful. But there is a very large portion of the zombies community that just hated Cold War. And ironically, over time, I've noticed that at least most of the people, if not all of the people, kind of found an appreciation for Cold War. And now that we have Black Ops 6 gameplay, uh, a lot of people are just hating it and calling Black Ops 6 zombies Cold War 2.0. Do people know that it's a direct sequel? the Cold War. Like, you do know that this is just a few years, if not, well, just five years after Cold War. It's developed by Treyarch, which made Cold War, and obviously it's going to feel and look like Cold War. And even saying feel, I think, is insane because, well, from what I've noticed, only 250 or 15, they kept on saying different numbers at COD Next, people, or at least content creators, got to experience the mode. And the zombies community flipping their shit the best way to put it, and saying that Black Ops 6 is not it, it's like the worst thing ever, is insanity. Because you haven't played it, you might really enjoy it. That was like the biggest thing with Cold War Zombies, where a lot of people were like, oh no, it's bad, and then they played it and liked it, because it's still zombies. You still shoot zombies. Yeah, it might not look like the good old days, because I can even agree to that. It does look, you know, more like the new style of zombies, or at least Call of Duty that we have since Warzone. And yeah, I will also agree with the zombies community. The Warzone effect definitely wasn't the best for the mode itself, but I don't think it's as bad as people are making it out to be. And can I just mention the biggest, biggest part of this all? This is a bonus map. Like, this is an extra experience. This isn't the main story map. Yes, it's going to have main story elements, but from what right now we know, you're just gonna be rescuing a scientist dude, and that scientist dude has no idea you're even part of like, you know, the bad guys or the good guys, whatever, it's complicated. It's just going to be a bonus map that's smaller, you get to hop onto, probably made for the people that Treyarch has pointed out are wanting to satisfy as well, and that is the player base that isn't like you know, extremely good at zombies. It's a bright map with the dark ether. I uh, basically everything that I've seen from that gameplay has me really excited. And I know that that's a different opinion from yours. And I guess opinions, everyone is allowed to have them. Well, not allowed. Everyone must have them. But I also think that the way the zombies community is currently judging Liberty Falls has me worried that they're going to judge Terminus Island the exact same way because I have news for you. It's probably going to be the same situation on Terminus Island. The vibe might be different, but the gameplay, oh, the gameplay is going to be the same. The look of it? Yeah, the look of it is going to be the same. The gameplay that you saw yesterday or COD Next, whenever you're watching this, that was raw gameplay of, well, I would say early gameplay, but then again, we are just like a few two months 
maybe nearly a month and a half, not really, away from the official release. So the experience that you saw there is probably going to be what it is basically on October 25th when the map comes out. To say that it's like, you know, uh, fully done isn't okay as well because a lot of stuff can change in between that time. Now, will they change the vibe of it? Hell no. But one of the biggest things is an Easter egg will be activated. Multiple side Easter eggs are going to be activated. Intel is going to be activated. Probably specific voice ends are going to be activated. The experiences is going to be different because from what Treyarch I'm pretty sure just gave us there was just the gameplay with a bit of story from the characters that talk to you inside of it. They said that there's going to be like basically experiences that you can find that people lived in this town, that they did stuff. And I guess that's something that might enhance the experience. But overall, I'm really happy with what Liberty Falls looks like. And to kind of go out there and destroy it is insanity, in my opinion. Like genuinely, it is crazy, crazy to see the zombies community just flip shit this fast because oh my god i don't know what people expected it it just has me worried for people who play games and may i just add that one of the coolest things that uh, we're going to be getting is another map before the end of the year <laughs> i don't know everything about black ops 6 to me looks incredible from the multiplayer to the brief like cinematic gameplay that we saw of campaign to more specifically the raw unedited gameplay of zombies that you know what at the end of the day was literally the worst thing they could have done but also the best thing because it showed me that it is something that i'm really looking forward to and maybe it's something that a lot of people are not and that's also maybe a good thing because then they won't spend their money so liberty falls is not that bad like it is not that bad people are over exaggerating anyway ladies and gentlemen that's it for the video um see you during the beta i guess